At this point, there are three major candidates for which Bridgerton sibling will be the star of Bridgerton season 4, and though Eloise used to be one of them, her plotline in the third season insinuates that her story is still a long way off. Notably, Bridgerton season 3 follows the love story between Penelope Featherington and the third eldest, Colin Bridgerton, however, supporting characters like Eloise play a large role in this romance. In Bridgerton season 3, part 1, Eloise kindles an unlikely friendship with Cressida Cooper while also pressuring Penelope to tell Colin about her secret identity, Lady Whistledown. It is easy for audiences to make theories about which Bridgerton sibling is next up for the franchise, based on the foundations laid by the current season. In Bridgerton season 1, plenty of screen time was given to Anthony, as his rakish ways led to heartbreak between him and the opera singer, Sienna Rosso. Furthermore, Season 2 amplified Penelope's Lady Whistledown secret so that it had to come to a boil in Season 3. And now, in the latest installment, plots are certainly being introduced, but they do not seem to be favoring the most stubborn Bridgerton, Eloise. There's no sign of Eloise's book story in Bridgerton Season 3. Sir Philip Crane remains out of the picture. In Julia Quinn's Bridgerton books, Eloise's story is the fifth of the bunch, to Sir Philip, with love. Though Eloise could potentially take the spotlight for Bridgerton Season 4, as the Netflix series has already gone out of book order, at this point it seems unlikely. In Season 3, Eloise's plotline shows no signs of what is to come in her season. On the contrary, Eloise's plot is almost completely wrapped up in Penelope and the Lady Whistledown secret. The biggest hint that Eloise's story isn't forthcoming is a major absence from Bridgerton Season 3, Sir Philip Crane. Crane has only been mentioned as Marina Thompson's husband, and audiences have only met him briefly, most recently in Bridgerton Season 2. In order for Eloise's love story to begin, she needs to begin a correspondence with Sir Crane, and at this point, she is far from doing this. She is too caught up in friendship troubles to even consider romance, not to mention that she doesn't care for love at all. Therefore, her story seems to be on the back burner. Marina Thompson's absence means Eloise's book story won't work. Marina needs to come back into play. Marina Thompson's yellow dress in season 1 when she and Colin announced their engagement. In actuality, Bridgerton season 3 has another absence that is even more vital than Sir Philip Crane, and that is Marina Thompson. As previously mentioned, Crane and Marina are married, and audiences have seen their practical marriage up close in Bridgerton season 2. However, Marina has definitely been sidelined by the events of season 3, and if Eloise's story is going to happen, Marina must become relevant again. As shown by the plot of, To Sir Philip, with love, Marina is really the catalyst of Eloise's love story, and so without her, nothing can truly begin for Eloise. When it comes to Bridgerton, timing is everything. Though the Netflix series changed the order of the Bridgerton sibling stories from Benedict to Colin, this choice made sense when considering the story's timing. Penelope's secret identity and her crush on Colin could not wait another season, meanwhile Benedict's story hadn't quite made itself known yet. This seems to be the case for Eloise as well. At this point, Eloise's romantic prospects continue to be at a low, meanwhile other Bridgerton siblings, namely Francesca, are moving closer to their destined paths. Marina Thompson's absence only proves this point, 